Hi, I'm Dave Hartman, and I would like to talk to you today about something that is widely used in the industry, but most users are unaware of it or don't truly understand it. Simulfit, the simultaneous contact of the taper and face of a cat or BT tool holder to the spindle face. You don't have to be big to take advantage of this technology. Let me explain. First, let's explore what it is. Simply put, it is a method of adding 28% diameter to a steep taper spindle connection. The actual percent varies by size, but the connection is always stiffer. It also adds the benefit of positive positioning the z-axis of the tool holder. Today's machine tool market has a mix of spindle connections. HSK, Capto, KM all match the taper and face simultaneously to give a reliable, stiff, repeatable connection. Traditional steep tapers such as CAD and BT only use the taper to make the connection. In most applications this is more than sufficient and in some cases it is better. One of the restrictions to taper only contact is you are limited to how fast you can turn the spindle. The wall thickness of the spindle, the speed it operates, and the drawbar force will directly impact the connection length. This can change during an operation. Steep taper spindles are available in two groups. The standard spindle has an open tolerance of plus or minus 15 thousandths position of the face of the spindle to the gauge line of the taper. This keeps the cost of manufacturing down. It also makes regrinding the spindle easy and affordable. The second group is manufactured so that the face is in a controlled position to the gauge line. The most common of these is a big plus spindle. It is also available where the face is ground at the gauge line. Parlor has solutions for all of these spindle types. Let's take a look at these types. The first image is a standard spindle with a standard cat tool holder. This image would be very similar if it was a BT holder system. The second image is a standard tool holder installed in a big plus spindle. The result in both cases is a taper only contact. On this slide, the first image is a tool built with a simultaneous fit compatible with big plus in a standard spindle. Again, the result is taper only contact. The second image is both the spindle and the tool holder built with simultaneous fit. In the case of a standard spindle with no qualified face, is it possible to still get the benefits of SimulFit? Absolutely. Parlick offers a solution that allows the user to custom fit a spacer for SimulFit on any spindle design. In fact, you may be aware that Parlick first applied this solution in 1982, 10 years before Big Plus became popular. The custom spacer will provide the same benefits in the case of a machine tool without a qualified spindle. Who needs SimulFit and why? One obvious application would be deep boring. The added spindle stiffness will reduce the deflection. Heavy face or side milling where the deflection is large. Any operation where chatter is apparent and the chatter is caused by deflection. Operations where the RPM is fast enough that the holder draws in and causes a change or step on the workpiece surface. Conditions where cold hammering is visible on the large diameter of the taper. Cold hammering is a condition where the cutting forces overcome the connection, causing hammering between the tapers. It can also be a failure of the drawbar and simul fit may not correct it. Checking your drawbar force is an important process in any shop. Let's take a closer look at the steep taper solutions and how they work. In this image, A represents the force of contact from the spindle. As the taper is pulled into the spindle, the ID will expand to meet its form. This will create contact almost the entire length of the connection. The further from the gauge line, the less expansion is required. On the side mark B, because the simulfit connection restricts the amount of draw, it is safe to assume that only about half of the expansion takes place. This can leave the small end of the taper not fully engaged. We should also consider the wear of the spindle. Restricting the travel will restrict the pattern of wear. To help reduce this wear, consider using standard tooling in a big plus spindle where the added stiffness will not provide value. We can also assume that since less of the spindle has been expanded to meet the taper, it will take less spindle speed to begin to separate the connection due to centrifugal forces.
The hollow taper of the HSK connection is designed to expand with the spindle at high operational speeds. Simulfit steep taper is not necessarily a good substitute for high speed, high performance operations. Often overlooked is the dampening ratio of a steep taper connection as compared to HSK or Simulfit connection. Stiffness will provide better resistance to bending, but not significant dampening. Is the performance restriction due to bending or frequency vibration? Whether you have a standard spindle, a simul fit spindle, or you need a custom solution, Parlock has the program for you. For more detailed information, please refer to our product literature, available either by contacting your Parlock sales representative or visiting us online at parlock.com or calling our toll-free number 1-800-TOOL-USA. Our literature has complete application and product selection guides along with other product details. Thanks again for your time, and remember, not every problem needs a big solution. Sometimes it's easier than that.